What is up, guys? Welcome back to Lift the Hollies TV. Today, we are going to go through a full shoulder day today. So um, I'm going to try and hit a different, all three heads of my shoulders using different equipment, different angles. So I'm going to use some stuff with the cables, a little bit of machines, little dumbbells. So if you're looking to grow your shoulders, you can take this entire routine with you the next time you go to the gym and just run through it completely. And I guarantee you over the course of a couple of weeks, you should see some changes in your shoulder gains. Stay tuned. First exercise we are going to do is the side raise and then we're gonna superset it with the front raise. So I always try and like to start with the cable machines or a side or front raise motion when I'm doing shoulders. Uh, just coming in cold into the gym, trying to do like a military press or a military, military press machine that's heavier, doesn't really agree with my elbows all the time. Everything's not really loosening up like that. Um, sometimes if I do start off with like the military press machine, the stack one, I'll just go like really, really light for a couple of sets then move on to the next one. So uh, I like this superset, the front raise, the side raise, behind the back side raise, because we're working on two different parts of the shoulder muscles. So the front raise obviously is gonna hit that front delt a little bit more than it is you know, the parts of your shoulders. And then that side raise is gonna hit that middle portion of your delt more than anything else. And then we'll come back and hit the rear delt towards the end of the shoulder day. All right, first set is a warm up. I'm gonna go real light. Straight to the front raise. So it's a lot of different variations you can do. You don't necessarily have to use the cable machine. And the gym I'm in right now, fortunately, you know, this stack is a little bit heavier than, you know, I got another one in the corner that you could kind of adjust it with. A lot of gyms don't have that. So if you're unable to use the weight that's on the stack with good form, good tempo, you can always substitute either the side raise or the front raise with the dumbbell. It's a great alternative. The only difference between doing it with the dumbbell and the cable, you're gonna create a little bit less tension, but that's when you really need to focus in on fighting gravity and getting that squeeze at the top, just like we're doing with the cable. So the motion is gonna be the same, just the equipment is gonna be a little bit different. When you're trying to determine if you need to go up in weight or if you need to stay in the same weight, you need to always look at the last two reps, the last two or three reps really to determine if you should go up in weight or not. So if you notice on the first two sets, especially the warm up set, my first rep looked exactly like my last rep. That's a clear indication that I need to go up in weight. So if those last two or three reps aren't like a struggle or you don't feel it a little bit more than you did in those first couple reps and you're still hitting that rep count that you're trying to hit, you need to increase the weight by five, 10 pounds. Wherever weight gives you a more struggle on those last couple reps than those first couple reps. Because if I'm just using a weight that I'm just going through the motions and it's not really challenging me, I'm not growing a muscle group at all. I have to choose a weight that's gonna challenge me throughout the set. So that's gonna exhaust the muscle group for that set. And then when I go on to the next one, I'm gonna be a little bit more tired than I was a set before. If I'm just using that same weight all the way through and I'm just going through the motions and gliding through the reps, then I'm not confusing the muscle group, it's not growing, and you're not achieving any form of progressive overload from week to week by just doing the same weight over and over again. So now I'm gonna go up a little bit more because, you know, those reps are just all right. And I'm all right if I miss, you know, if I get 
10 or 12 reps on the last set and I only get 10 here, I went up in weight. So it's all right if I come up a little bit short. And if I really want to get those last couple reps, I can just drop the weight down 10 pounds and then finish out the set, which I might do on this last one. We're trying to grow your shoulders. It's imperative that you're hitting all three heads. So you gotta get in a front raise motion, whether that's with the cable, whether that's with the dumbbells, whether you got your arms straight locked into this position and you're doing it with an easy curl or straight bar, you have to get in the side raising motion so you can hit that mid delt. You gotta do that rear delt, so that's either a bent over fly or a cross cable fly, a reverse fly on the chest press machine, and then you gotta hit some type of military press. There's four different motions that you have to have with your with your shoulder day in order to see improvements in your overall, the full scope of your shoulder, getting it more round and everything like that. So we're gonna go military press. I'm gonna do a little bit differently. I'm gonna do a hold and with one arm, I'm gonna crank out 10 here. I'm gonna do a hold here. I'm gonna crank out 10 there. Then I'm gonna put it down for a second, get a rest. And then I'm gonna go with both hands. So I'm gonna kind of like get two sets in and then I'm gonna pick a lighter weight and then I'm going to side to front raise here. So I can kind of get in both side front raise motion, not standing. So it's taking the leg out of the equation where, you know, where I was doing it with the cable, it's real easy to kind of use my legs or use momentum or my body to kind of to swing the weight up. Here, I got my legs positioned on the floor in the resting position. So that way when I'm pulling up, I'm just using my front and my side delt. So I'm gonna work the side, side raise and front raise position a little bit more. Then after this, we're gonna do a little bit of rear delt and some machines. Up here.
The difference in hitting a muscle group properly or maximizing the movement could just be one small tweak in your form. So like with these shoulder presses that I'm doing, if I got my elbows positioned all the way back here, I'm not really getting the most out of the movement. And I'm also stressing out my shoulder because I mean, my shoulder muscle doesn't really pull back like that, especially not in a pressing motion. You, all you need to do is just push the shoulder slightly a little bit forward so you can have your arms on a little angle. And that's gonna help you put more tension on the shoulder muscle. And it's also gonna help you protect your shoulder muscle from injury. So now I'm gonna hit the rear delt using the cable machine. And then I'm gonna get in a little bit more front delt just because I haven't been doing this exercise and I just started doing it like a month or two ago and it really hits my front delts well. So we're gonna do that through the leg rope, front raise in between there. It's important that I got a good bent over position. If I'm not, I'm not gonna hit my front delt effectively. All right, last thing we're gonna do, we're gonna finish it off with three sets here. So I'm gonna do a drop set each set. So I got three plates on there. I'm gonna take a plate off, hit some more, take a plate off, hit some more, and then do another set. And then at the end of that, we really did a couple things, front and mid delt focus. So I wanna add in a little bit more rear delt. So I'm gonna do some rear delt flies. In between this, just to top off the rear delts a little bit, make sure that whole shoulder, make sure all three sections of my shoulder are on fire before I get up out of here. Let's finish it off. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna lighten it up a little bit on the second and third one. So I can get some more reps. I think I was a little overly ambitious going three plates at the end, but if you don't know, if you don't try, you definitely don't know.
One thing about drop sets, if every set during a drop set doesn't look the same, I'm using too much weight. So the purpose is to start heavy and have a good tempo, use a full range of motion, and then continue that throughout the three sets. So you're gonna be exhausted, the muscle group is gonna be on fire, but if you can't keep those simple cues, like tempo, full range of motion, you know, getting that three second count towards the bottom, then you need to start at a lighter weight. That way, when you go into the second and third set and you're tired, the muscle is burning, you can still fight through with good tempo. If you're not getting effective reps, you might as well not even do the drop set. You might as well just put this on one plate and just get some good reps. So it's all about how effective each rep is throughout the set. Not just going through the motions, just to go through the motions. That is it for shoulders. If you're looking for another video, full workout format, make sure you leave a comment in the comment section. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe and notification button on the bottom so you can be up to date on any other videos that I post in the future. See you next time.